Hi, welcome to day five of the seven day photography channel. In the words of the great Mr. Darcy, I shall come to this. I shall. <laughs> oh my word, it's difficult finding inspiration. You know, when you've got a week to do a video and you think, where shall I go this week? But when you've got to do it every day, I mean, it's fun. I, I, going out and saying to yourself, go and do some photography. And you think, oh, do I have to? I really don't want to. And then you find that actually it wasn't bad. <laughs> and the last couple of ones, I've had some good times. So it's dusk. And I think I just want to get out and do some night photography before it gets pitch black, of course. So I'm here in Folkestone, and the idea is to go from basically the arches here. And the idea is to go down Sandgate Road, down to Rendezvous Street, and then down to the old High Street. So I think it'll be fun. There's shops open, there's restaurants open. And I'm just going to snap some snaps, you know? Which is what I've been doing all week, isn't it? Actually, I already see the nightlife is happening. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm cold and I'm cold. I think it's going to be a case of all the shops because of all the light, right? And I, things can only get better as I go along and find different subjects. It's good having a zoom though, because you can get in w without actually standing right at the doorstep. And the other thing is, because the DJI doesn't really react to light very well, I'm gonna end up looking, you know, like, where are the lights so that I can stand under for the camera? And because it's, what is it, about half nine? Street lights aren't even on yet. Sunshine Bistro. I might actually be able to do the whole video in one take. That would be a good, just keep walking. If I see something, take a picture, right? I like the Sunshine Bistro here. Oh yeah, that looks lovely with all its lights. In terms of street photography, it's kind of starting to get to life again. People are here. There are some homeless folk. I'm not going to take a picture of them. It kind of reminds me of that video I did about Edward Hopper. You know, outside looking in, looking at all of the, um, the images that he painted. You know, the night hawks, that, that scene. <laughs> Got to keep your wits about you. You start hearing shouting and stuff. Late night supermarket under the trees. Go! <laughs> I might have got you, but you were too quick. <laughs> I don't know if I got him or not. I, I tried to take a picture. I was just attracted by the darkness of everything else and a late night supermarket with nobody in it. Could be a new supermarket. Might be worth actually taking a shot with some pedestrians walking past. What do you think? I've got quite a few pedestrians coming. Let's see what I can do. People are so polite. I mean, I'm waiting for them to walk by so that I can get a photograph of them, you know, as a silhouette in the window. And then they all stop and wait. I can't say, come on. I should be the director of a movie, shouldn't I? The Kent Arms. Nighttime pub, eh? Car coming. I saw you. I need to toot your horn. Working on the premise that I can take, I can just walk down the hill and just keep the camera rolling, taking shots. When I parked the car earlier and walked up, it was quite light and I was kind of getting a bit 
disenthused, is that a good word? Is that an, even a word? You know when you're enthusiastic, but then you become disenthusiastic, even if, is that a word? <laughs> it's like being whelmed when you're not overwhelmed or underwhelmed, you're just whelmed. I came up, walked to the top, and now it's getting dark, and I'm actually getting the light. I saw this pizzeria place with the guys working. They'll ignore me completely and just do their, their job. I can get a good shot. Okay, I'm going to pause the video because I'm told on the SD card that the internal space is full. So I've just got to delete a few things. I'll be back with you in a moment. I am gutted. And you know why? I took this memory card out and ended up leaving it in the computer. So it's been taking pictures on the internal storage. So I've got some good pictures. I think that's it. There's nothing else I can take. I'm going to take one or two using the the GoPro. And the reason is the GoPro takes 12 megapixel pictures. So this will be a tester. I will walk down to the bottom of the street. I can't use the camera anymore. But can I use the GoPro? Not the DJI. <laughs> Schoolboy Aero 101, right? I will take pictures. I'm just going to stroll on down now. But it's all about shop windows and things like that. But because I can't zoom in, I'm reliant on the actual camera. So imagine this. If this actually turns out any good, just taking pictures with the DJI Osmo Pocket, this is it on the screen. It can take video at 4K up to 60 frames a second. It's fabulous for f video. But for photography, it's only 12 megapixels. <laughs> and there's no zoom capabilities or anything like that. I am going to actually, I like that scene with the windows. So it's, I feel slightly gutted because I feel like I'm not completing the challenge now because I'm just taking pictures with the, with the, the cine camera thing. But if it turns out all right, then it's got to be worth a like, hasn't it? Because it shows, you know, commitment and effort. <laughs> Cask Ale Insiders. I like that scene. We're going to go for a click. So now we walk down the old high street. Another picture. Yesterday's video, right, where I was talking about three scenarios. One, the intent is to take photographs and you're fully equipped, you've got all the gear. Two, you're carrying a camera, but you're not specifically going out for photography, but you have the gear if you see something. Three, you see something fabulous, you don't have a camera. I'm kind of falling in that category now. And yet, my intention was to come out and take photographs. <laughs> That's a lovely scene though, isn't it? The old high street with the lights. Thank you if I can get a shot from here and include the street light, the different street lights. Maybe with some people, we'll do a click. You've got to be saying to yourself, how do you do it, Judah? You have all the skills. <laughs> Did this one with Georgia. Something I always think of with the um, reflection of the plants as shadows. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's a click. Strange that they don't actually open the um, restaurants. I think that's just a coffee shop though, isn't it? That restaurant's open. El Cortador. That's, can't work out if it's Spanish or Mexican, it's probably Spanish. We got some happy revelers. Another street scene. It's a click. I'll tell you what though, because 
I feel it's only 12 megapixels, so the noise level may be just chaotic and horrible. But I do feel that I'm a little bit savvy with the post-processing. -pro so a bit of cropping, a bit of light enhancement, sh uh, highlights and shadows, that kind of thing, should work. From barbershop with nobody in it. And I think that looks great. It's like a showroom, isn't it? I've got the reflection of the scaffolding in the window, but I might be able to get rid of that. It's a click. <laughs> Nearly at the end of the creative quarter. That was my intention, to work from the top by the arch, come all the way down to the seafront. Oh, for a camera that was, you know, had a film in it. Do I feel like I'm on the outside looking in? Yeah, that's a portrait shot. Click. Look at the pretty lights. I want to take a picture of them. And I'm thinking from maybe here. Yeah, let's do it. It's a click. It does have one advantage. I can walk by a window and just click the button and no one will know because it doesn't even look like a, a camera. And just here, at the corner of the creative quarter is Marley's with people eating. That's a great shot anyway, so I'm going to take that picture. But as I walk by, I'm going to see if I can capture just a couple, you know, click, click, click as I walk by the window. <laughs> that should be, I might even stop and look in. So it's a click. Did it work? I don't know. I, I, w <laughs> I will have or won't have displayed the photographs. But I'm at the end of the creative quarter. There's nothing else. There's certainly nothing else to take a photograph of because I didn't have any um, film in the camera. Hey, that's what it's like when you forget your SD card. It's like having a 35 mil and you forgot to put film in the camera. <laughs> I could have used my phone. I've got my phone in my pocket. Drat. But I'm all the way down here now, so I think I'll call that quits for day number five. Bit of a failure, this one, but what are you going to do? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for day number six. Bye for now.